Hello, amazing fire community. Jessica Knight here, executive director for Fire Revolution Freedom Center and advocacy for Women Inc. Just doing my weekly Friday or Saturday update. Um, trying to do something a little bit different. Just was driving home after visiting my daughter, who I promised I would bring her some chicken noodle soup because she wasn't feeling well. So I stopped by her place and and um, just, you know, just a visit and saw this beautiful skyline and wanted to be able to share this moment with you. Um, so I wanted to share that today we did our love event. It was incredible. Next Saturday, we will be doing our outreach. And then I am taking a 90 day sabbatical to move um, our one of my dear, dear mentors, um, man of God that changed my life, passed away last week. So his funeral is also coming up. So my amazing leadership has allowed me to take a 90 day sabbatical to just do some self care. Uh, and I, apparently this is something spiritual leaders do um, once every seven years. And so fire just celebrated its eighth birthday. Uh, and, uh, oh, it's time. I'm, I'm a year behind. So, oh, oh my goodness. Encouraging word I want to share with you is a philosophy that, um, we're, we're launching, we're getting ready an initiative. It's, it's part of the weave and cleave with the faithful city trauma informed community and um, something I think I shared last week, you know, why I did the train the trainer um, training to be a leader within Weave and Cleave is, uh, you know, you have ACEs, which is adverse childhood experiences, and then you have PACEs, so positive experiences that help build resistance and assist with the healing journey, a recovery journey from any type of trauma. So within FIRE, we came up with uh, a philosophy. We're calling it CAPE, C-A-P-E, Create, Creating a Positive Experience. All of our events, um, and this, you, you just have to understand who I am, something I've been doing. It's just part of my creation as a child of God to be able to create events, and now with with an intention of creating a positive experience and what I want to share is how you think about it in in the gospels and and with Jesus um everyone that came in contact with him had some type of positive experience that brought healing wholeness or salvation in in the characteristic or that side of God and so I want to create within fire and we and many of you that have come to our events know that whether it's been on an outreach it's awareness it's it's a very unique it's it's you know it's my creation being filtered uh with the holy spirit in um bringing awareness bringing it in a safe environment and also bringing some type of positive um connection to it so that the transition of, well, I guess it's called woke nowadays for when anyone, whether you're, you know, you're a survivor of trauma or you're just wanting to get to know about the social issue of human trafficking, that it's something that you can, um, I want to say something you can stomach and where you don't feel hopeless and helpless. And it, and it really comes to that scripture. So looking forward to that um so our next event isn't going to be until july uh, we're going to do a pool party love event at uh, our advocate cynthia uh, and then our next gps which is going to be god person which is jesus spirit is going to be in september i want to say september 18th check the notes i'm still going to do our weekly um updates word of encouragement let you know what's going on with me. Um, but during this downtime, you pray, we pray for all of us. Pray for me, pray for every advocate, every survivor, everyone that's doing something to move this movement, movement forward, whether it's human trafficking, trauma awareness, or um, trauma-informed community. Oh, May 4th. 
So May 4th, <laughs> we're still doing the belonging conference. So please click the link, register, come out. It's going to be a fabulous time. Uh, so May 4th, um, the belonging conference sponsored by Maricopa County Public Health Department. Uh, and then July next love events. If you need anything at all, please reach out to me. I love you and have a great Saturday. Look at this. Isn't this, this is just gorgeous back here. Love you all. Mwah.